what that was was our final right hand um, exercise that we're doing. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing through chordal arpeggios, okay? But instead of playing it like a bar chord like this, I'm taking each one of the notes and I'm individualizing them, okay? Now I'm playing eighth notes, so I was playing again at 100 beats per minute, playing eighth notes over these, so two notes. Um, per beat, but I'm going through the arpeggios and I'm also string skipping, okay? So when we talked earlier about the odd numbers being harder, like the ones and threes, well these would be ones, because I'm starting on a downstroke on my root note, and I'm skipping strings to here, and I'm coming up on my next note. So if you, if you look at the right hand here, That's kind of what it looks like, okay? And also what I'm doing here is I'm taking this uh, pattern and make it a little bit more musical by going through different chord forms, okay? So I started on an A major chord. I went down to a C major chord. Then I went down to an E major chord off of the 12th fret. And then I went back to a C sharp major chord over the 9th fret. Then I came all the way down to G off of the third fret. And then I went to F sharp over the second fret. Something like that. Now, what you can do with this exercise is do a couple of different things with it. Right now I'm playing sets, like I said, of one notes, playing eighth notes. Now, what another thing I can do is I can take this hand and I can start doubling up the notes, tripling them up, and playing them as, as fours, too. So I can do ones, twos, threes, and fours. Now, how you do that is take each note and play it twice. Or take each note and play it three times. And then play it four times. Something like that. That way we can get, get all of the rhythm figures that we normally play put together inside of this. Okay, so if I kept the metronome here at 100, and I wanted to play eighth notes, I want to play two notes um, on each string, it would sound something like this. Three, four. And if I want to play three notes, triplets, it's something like this. Two, three, four. That'll probably be the hardest one to do. Okay, now the set of four. Three, So as you start increasing, increasing the different rhythm figures here, the left hand is actually going to get a break, okay? Especially when you get up to where you're playing four notes because you get to sit on it a little bit longer with the left hand, so you're not just doing this a lot. But again, this is more isolated to more the right hand and then to the left hand. <laughs> If I didn't warm up my muscles first hand, my first set, I would cramp up big time. It'll be very, very difficult for me to finish up the rest of the night if I'm cramping up already in the first hour. The first thing I do, I always go through my warm-up exercises, the ones that we worked on today. That'll give us longevity. That'll give us stamina. Any athlete would do this before they went out and ran a marathon. Guitar playing is the same way. All right. So the warm-ups are finished, so let's get to some playing. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.